Hi, this is Ryan Gunnis, and in this tutorial, we're going to cover the contact management system and how to use it. Now, the way it works is every time you receive a call from the system, it gets automatically logged into this system here. So you'll be able to see the phone number that get, that gave you a call. Uh, the system puts them as a new lead, and you'll be able to hover over this little uh, button here, and it'll be able to show you the the time of that call and how long the call was. So you can tell by the time of the call whether it was, uh, uh, you know, a call that uh, left you a message or you spoke to them. If you see it's a couple minutes, or uh, they, you know, maybe they didn't leave you a message because it was only like five seconds or something. Okay, so you could use that information to to kind of remind you what's going on with that call. Now, obviously, we're in a dummy account here, so there's a lot of uh, dummy information. And uh, so the way it works is, and I'll just kind of give you a live example here. So let's say, you know, um, let's say, you know, I'm calling back my calls. A lot of times, like what I like to do, because there's a lot of statuses, which I'm going to touch on, is I like to click on search on new leads. So it just shows me all my new leads. So let's say I'm calling back and I notice, okay, this person you know, you know, left. It looks like they were on the phone for 23 seconds, so they must have left me a voicemail or something like that. I call them back, and let's say this was uh, Sam. So I'll just put in Sam. Okay. Uh, so let's say I listened to my voicemail, and Sam left me a message. I'm calling them back. So I call Sam. We spoke on the phone. Made I made my little invitation, and Sam says I'll take a look at your business. All I do is click on email here. I say, what's a good email address for you? Sam says, sam at 123.com. I say, okay, no problem. And then I click to continue. And I have an option now. Sam is interested in looking at my business, which is this one here. If Sam wanted to look at both my business and the marketing system, I would click this. Uh, Sam wants to look at my business, so I'll click on this. Or if Clan just want, Sam just wants to look at the marketing system, I'll click on this. Okay, uh, because this is a dummy one, I'm not going to click on anything, but I will touch on the other functions here. Number one is Facebook. I can click on this little Facebook. It'll do a lookup for Sam, and it'll bring me to Facebook. And if it finds Sam, I'll have the information right here. I can click Add as a friend, and then I can click on Send Message. And write a little message. So, you know, example of a little message that I, I would write is, you know, let's say I spoke to Mandy. I'd say, hey, Mandy, nice chatting on the phone with you today. I sent you the info we talked about. Catch you later. And my phone number. Also, what's good about this is I get to see um, some of the information about that person, what company they might be working with if they have that in their Facebook. And I could use that information for future reference. All right. So I use this a lot. I highly recommend it. Uh, also, there's a little search function here. If I click on that, it'll look up that phone number in our system and give us more information. So if we if we have information on that person, you might get their full name, what company they might be with in the past or present, you know, their state and what what their website might have been in the uh, you know from from their past company. So I'll have all that information in front of me again if I need to use that. Um, if I need to add a note, let's say Sam was a truck driver and uh, wants uh, needs uh, 500 per month. You know, let's say we got into a little bit of conversation. I want to put that note. I can make a little note, put that in there, and I have that for future reference. Okay, so you know you can add notes really easily. If uh, if Sam said, "Hey, don't don't call me ever again. Take me off your list," you can click on add uh, add to the do not call list, and that number gets removed from our system completely. All right, so that kind of covers that. Okay, um, what would happen if I had clicked on uh, this one here? Let's say I said Sam was interested in my prime. If I click on that, what happens in the background? is it triggers a whole bunch of emails. So what it does is it triggers a series of emails and it would send Sam an email to look at my business, in your case, to look at your business. Okay, so Sam would be looking at your business and it'll wait a couple days and follow up and say, hey, I you know, wanted to touch base, make sure you, you got the email, 
whatnot. So it would be following up with Sam for you. And if Sam clicked the link, it will move Sam over here. It will let you know that Sam clicked the link to look at your business. Again, it's going to be following up to try to get Sam back on the phone for that follow-up call. And then there's some other functions here for rating-wise. So each area, whether the person is interested in both, interested in the marketing system, or just in, or interested in, in your business, each area has its own unique sets of emails that's designed to move them through the funnel. And uh, this, you know, you know, overall, this could be built out to two, three weeks worth of follow-up automatically. All you did was click this button one time, and all that stuff is happening in the background. So great, great, great function to use, um, you know, as, as you put people into the system. All right, that covers that. Um, what else? Uh, by clicking, like, again, like, let's say we clicked on Sam was interested in my business, right? Well, uh, Sam is interested in your business. You clicked on that. The system would automatically change the status to Sam is interested in, in looking at your primary business. Now, if Sam clicks the link, the system will automatically change their status to clicked. So what's good about that is you can come in and uh, pull up all your new leads. So you need, these are the people you need to call. And then you could say, okay, well, let me see who said yes to looking at my business. Okay, Brenda says yes. Okay, um, who has clicked? Okay, these are the people that click, so I know who to follow up with. Uh, same thing, you can go to the marketing system, who's clicked. Okay, and uh, you, you keep working through uh, all the different statuses. So you can always be talking to the most interested uh, prospects as you do your follow up. Uh, from the search function side, I like to, to make notes on what company people are with so that you can always come back. Like, let's say, you know, uh, a red company. Let's say I want to do a search. I can just type in red. I'll do a search. Anybody with the word red. So we got red here. We got red here. And uh, be able to find that easily. All right. Uh, you have the date range. If you need to search for a date range, just choose the date from and then the date to. System will, will filter out your leads that way. Uh, phone lookup. If somebody's calling you or you got a missed call, you can always type in that phone number here. So let's say this was the phone number. I can type and hit phone lookup, and the system will automatically go do a lookup like it did over here. And uh, I'll have that information there as well. So, uh, you know, you can find it from two ways. If you're inside of a record, you can just click on this little pencil. Uh, if you're not inside of a record, you can just type in their phone number right here and do a phone lookup. All right, um, that pretty much covers everything. The only other thing I would say is uh, if you get a call from the system, it takes up to about five minutes for that call to get logged into here. Okay, and so to keep that in mind, okay, and basically it'll be like I said, it'll be logged. You'll see the phone number, obviously the name and the company and the email will be blank, and it would say new lead, like just like this one here. Okay, and then you can kind of click to see the the time and uh, you can call that person back or if you spoke to that person already you can come in and, and put your notes in and all, all that good stuff alright so that pretty much completes a high level of how to use the contact manager very very simple to use highly effective as far as keeping you organized and helping you follow up especially as you add people to these funnels and the system is doing all this work in the background for you um, to help get that person to look at your website to help uh, you know, get them back on the phone to call you and whatnot. Also, one other area I'm going to touch is rate. Let's see if I have a a rate option here. Uh, da, 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 da. Pull up one here. Do, do. I don't have one here to show you, but if you, after you put someone into the system, you'll have a, a button that shows up where you can rate them, and uh, that's used in the follow-up call. So as you call and you touch base with someone uh, you can click on the rate option and you'll be able to say where their interest levels uh, their interest levels at after they took a look at the first initial information that they got from you alright so make sure and, uh, and, and use that in your follow-up process alright cool Ryan Gunness I'm signing out and I'll see you in the other videos